Today I'm taking you sourcing with me. We're gonna hit up a couple of stores. These stores I've already sourced at last week and yesterday. Now I just have a list of stuff that I wanna get more of. It's just gonna be a grab and go situation. And I tell myself that, but I will probably see stuff that I wanna scan and it will slow me down. If it winds up being something good, then it's worth it, right? My first stop is going to be Grocery Outlet, which I've never been to this grocery outlet, but it looks adorable. So I'm excited to go in here. Just gonna strap on my purse. Take another sip of caffeine, grab my phone, and we're good. I just got out of the grocery outlet. I wound up finding two of the three items I was looking for. So this grocery outlet had a lot of different stuff. I was really surprised how different this one is. It's so nice. I said I was just gonna go run in there, grab stuff and go, but that was a lie because of course, I just saw all this great stuff and I wanted to scan it. One of the first things I found was this pumpkin spice pancake and waffle mix and it looked like it could make some good money. But when I looked at IP Alert, it said that this brand, Birch Benders, is known to file IP complaints. So I just skipped it. I had to refocus. This store also had a lot of more toys. So I wound up scanning some of those didn't find anything. The first thing on my list, I found it, but the store had taken it out of its box and they were selling it as individual units. So I said, I just didn't want to deal with that. I, I need it in its case, please. So I moved on out of the two items I was looking for. I was able to find one of them and they had taken these all out of their case too, but I went ahead and got them. I've sold these in the past, so I know they sell well. They have a very low rank. I get them for $10 and they sell for $28.37 and I'll make $7.84 on each of those and I got 10. So that's a $70 potential profit for that one item. Um, I also kind of strolled through the place and I got to the canned meat section, which I love. And yesterday I found some canned meat, but the date was not sellable for me. Well, anywho, I saw that they had a bunch of that same item and I thought, you know, I would check the date. What are the chances that it's a better date? And I'm so glad I did because the date on their product here was a sellable date for me. So I bought this for $11.99, it sells for $29.99, and I should make about $6.72 on those. I wound up getting six of those, so I'm gonna try them out, and if they sell well, then I will come back here and get some more. So that's another $40 of potential profit. Then I started cruising down the aisles and I wound up in the coffee aisle and I thought I would check some coffee, but then I accidentally wound up breaking something. Clean up on aisle coffee. That was my cue to leave. I spent $150 in there and I think I should profit about 110. And I was in and out of that store so quick. I definitely wanna come back to this store when I feel like I have more time and just spend a lot of time here because I like this store. All right, the next stop on our trip is Walmart. So let's head to Walmart. If you're wondering why I'm doing this because the sun is just blinding me in every direction. I just got to the Walmart. I am here in search of a couple of toys that I've sold. One of the toys I've been selling, FBM. So I wanna see if they have any more here. Also need boxes because I am running low again. So we're gonna get some boxes, gonna check the toys and head on to our next stop. I got my lip gloss, let's go.
When I was in Walmart, I was looking for about four particular items. They're all toys. And I did find the first one I was looking for. Paid $11.97. These sell for $27.22 and I should profit $5.84 on each of those. And I got four, so that was 20 bucks. I found another toy I was looking for. I paid $20. It sells for $43.99 and I should profit $11 on those and I think I got three, so that's another $33 of potential profit. I found another toy that I have been selling. So this is a replen. I got it for $12.88, it's selling for $29.99 and I should profit $6.80 on that and I could only find one, unfortunately. I did go up and down a lot of the aisles because sometimes you can just find things that people picked up and changed their mind and they set it down. I was hoping I could find an abandoned toy in one of the aisles, but I didn't. And last but not least, I'm gonna show you this last thing. Found this cookie dough Twix. But whatever happened to just selling a small candy bar? Why does it have to be like family sized? Oh, share size, they call it share size. I wanted to try it. Why are Twix so good? Mm. So all together, I think I found about $60 worth of potential profit in a quick trip to Walmart. I did check out their clearance aisle real quick. I got close to buying a couple things, but I just changed my mind. They have a really big, nice clearance aisle here. Next stop is going to be Big Lots. It's just a hop, skip, and jump down the road. So let's go. All right, I just got to Big Lots, and while I was driving over here, it like smacked me in the face that I totally forgot to get boxes at Walmart. I actually live really close to a Walmart in my neck of the woods, so it's not a huge deal. I'm just, now I have to make another stop. And I was also thinking about eating all of these candy bars, but I can hide this from myself. One day I'll find it and I'll be so excited. Let's see what we're looking for at Big Lots. Do you ever make yourself a note and you have no idea what you're talking about? Cause I, I did. Okay, good thing I take screenshots of everything I buy because I know what I'm talking about now and I don't even know why I put that on the list cause it's a Christmas thing and I don't want any more of those. All right, so really I'm just in here for two things and I'll probably wind up scanning some other stuff while I'm here, possibly three things, but I found this third thing back in October, so I don't I don't know if it'll be here. All right, so let's go see what the Livermore Big Lots has. I got out of Big Lots and I went by my list. One of the things that I was going to get, I found it, but I noticed that I still have two in inventory. The prices dropped and it's not moving right now. So I just skipped that one. Uh, another one I was trying to find in like the toothpaste aisle and I didn't find that. Uh, I was also trying to find a little appliance that I got at the other big lots and I didn't find that. And then I was going to get another household item that I replenish, but right now the price is kind of tanked. So I'm going to skip that one for now. Now the price does fluctuate. So hopefully it'll go back up soon. And if it does, Big Lots has some stock here. I will keep my eye on it. So I left Big Lots empty handed. Now I did scan some other stuff. I went through the toys and the grocery and I came really close on a couple of things, but I overall, I just decided to skip those things. When I walked out of Big Lots, I remembered that TJ Maxx is next door and I figured I'd stop in there, walk around, see if I could find anything. I wasn't really searching, searching, just, you know, doing a casual walk. A lot of the stuff in there is still Christmas stuff and I'm not sourcing Christmas stuff anymore. I was just looking for brands and things that I could sell besides Christmas stuff. I went through the beauty, I went through the grocery, I went through the kitchen stuff, I went through the pet stuff, I went through the toys, and I went through the electronics, and I was literally this close to leaving the store. Just as I was pushing my cart to abandon it, 
something caught my eye that I've sold in the past. And this thing is an electronic and it comes in a bunch of different colors. So I was scanning all the different colors because with this thing, it matters what color it is. I wound up scanning all the colors and I found one color that is selling for double the other colors are because it's beautiful. Um, I paid $49.99 for these suckers. They're expensive, but they're selling for $129.99 and I can profit $51.43 on those each. And I found two. I was literally under the tables trying to find more of these and I didn't. But I'm happy with the two. So I got $100 of potential profit for just strolling through the TJ Maxx. And now I don't feel so bad that I didn't find anything I was looking for in big lots. Have y'all been keeping track of these potential profits today? Cause I haven't, I wish I would have wrote them down. Uh, let me see if I can go through my screenshots and try to like do some mediocre math and figure out how much potential profit we found today. Could be off, but I think that I found about $270 worth of potential profit just in these quick stops, grab and go, having a list of what I've already found and just getting some more. I will probably pack and prep all this stuff tomorrow. So stay tuned for like a prepping and packing video where I will add up everything that I got this week, including this trip, put it all in inventory lab and let you know how much I should profit for the week. I know in my past videos, I would always just add everything up at the end, but since I'm doing pack and prep videos for Vlogmas, you're just gonna have to wait. It feels so good to get back in the stores. Uh, I totally missed out on Q4 this year, which is a bummer. We're just gonna pick up where I left off. That is all I can do. I do already have another trip planned for February. So I need to get as much inventory into Amazon as possible before I leave on that trip. And I am going back to Disney. If you haven't seen my Disney sourcing videos, I made a few of them and I'll, I'll stick my most popular one here so you can check it out. I learned so much from my first sourcing trip at Disney that I think I could do way better this next trip. I hope you guys have an awesome day, awesome night, whatever it is for you. I hope it's awesome and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.